What's up everybody? So today we're going to cover my three steps to get to your first $250,000 in real estate. Okay guys, I'm really excited about this one. Before I get started, click subscribe and connect with me on Instagram for daily inspiration and check out my free training in the description below. Okay, so I don't wanna waste a lot of time today. Let's just jump right into it. The first step to making your first $250,000 in real estate commissions is to do the math. We wanna find out exactly how many transactions we need to make in a year's time to produce $250,000 in commissions. The way that we do this is first, we're gonna find out what the average transaction price is in our market. Let's use $300,000 as an average price point. Some markets may be 250, some may be 200, some may be 800. My personal market is 350,000 right now, but let's use 300 as a benchmark for this example. And then let's use 2.5% commission as to gauge the average commission to get to our $250,000 in real estate commissions. So you may get 3%, you may get four, five, or six if you're on both sides of the deal, or you may get two depending on what market you're in, but we're gonna use 300,000 for an average price point and 2.5% as an average commission. So the average commission on 300,000 would be $7,500. So if you take $250,000 in real estate commissions and divide that by the $7,500, dollars of real estate commissions that you get on average per transaction, you will find out how many transactions you need to make in order to reach that $250,000 in real estate commissions, which equals 33.3 real estate transactions. So we know that we need 33.3 real estate transactions to get to our $250,000 we want to achieve. But let's also say that our broker takes on average 20%. Some brokers take 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's use 20% as an average there. Okay, so that bumps it up to 40 transactions. So you need to produce a sales volume of $12 million, which equals 40 deals at $300,000 per deal to reach your $250,000 in real estate commissions. That's an average volume of $1 million in sales per month or three to four deals per month. Okay, so this just gives us a goal, something to shoot for. It gives us clarity on exactly the path that we need to take to get where we wanna be. Step number two is to create a routine. Tom Ferry said that routine is the sign of an ambitious individual. And he's absolutely right. I totally agree with him. I'll take you through my routine real quick and maybe that will help you. I'm up by 5.45, I'm on my bicycle by six, heading to the gym, which is four miles away. I work out, I ride my bike back, I'm home before seven, I take a shower, get ready to go to the office before eight. I'm there before eight o'clock, before anybody gets there. My car is always the first one to the office and the last one to leave. And from there, I'm gonna study my business. While nobody's at the office, my assistant's not there yet, none of the other agents are there yet, I have total silence and I can concentrate completely on my business. So I'm gonna open up my schedule book and my notepad and I'm gonna run through all the notes from yesterday. I'm gonna take 15 minutes and I'm gonna study my business and I'm gonna make a fresh list of everything that's most important to me in my life and my business and everything that I need to hold as a priority in my life and business to take everything to another level. I also refer to a routine as a rhythm. And I think being in a good rhythm is the only way to reach high levels of success. And step number three is to get 30 listings as quickly as you can. If you need more help on how to get listings, I have several other videos. You can find them on this channel. But at the end of the day, the reason that I want you to get 30 listings as quick as you can is because 30 was the magic number that led me to the need of having an assistant. I think having an assistant and taking those administrative duties off your back is very crucial to you making 250,000 per year. If you don't have that, you will not make $250,000 per year. So having 30 listings brings you to the point where you need an assistant. And when you bring your assistant on, then you can take a lot of the administrative of problems off of your shoulders and give that over to him or her and then you can concentrate solely on customer service and clients and creating more business and producing more sales. I think that if you hire an assistant too early then you don't know exactly how to train her because you yourself haven't been through the trenches. 
and it holds you back from building your business the way you really need to build your business in the beginning of your career. So I think hiring an assistant at the right time is very crucial and for me it was 30 listings. So my advice to you is to get out there and get 30 listings as quickly as possible so that you can hire that assistant, know how to train her, and take your business to another level. So I know I went through these three steps really fast, so I'm going to rehash them right now. Step one is to do the math, figure out how many transactions you need in your market to get to $250,000 in real estate commissions. Step two is to create a morning routine that's going to have you at a high production all day long. And step three is to get 30 listings as quickly as possible so that you can hire that assistant and take everything to another level. As always, thanks for watching. I hope it gave you a sense of direction. And I will be known as the guy that gave more value to the real estate industry than anybody in history. Click subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.